so uh, let's we start our set up in uh, parameters our second parameter will be the source of our first master frequency is a uh, default setting uh, not as one it's a uh, default setting is a zero digital keypad up down button that is these two these two will change the frequency you can see by pressing these two the changing the frequency we would like to do the digital keypad potentiometer <coughs> you can see right now the potentiometer is not working is not changing the frequency okay so if you want to make it work you need to change the parameter that showing by uh, <coughs> manual the parameter is 2.00 from uh, param uh, we will make it 0 to the 4 okay so uh, let's go to the parameter it's a 2 2.0 enter we need as uh, you can see that into that parameter is right now it is 0 0 it is 0 0 a digital keypad up down let it make it 4 1 2 3 4 enter okay so we entered the parameter second parameter let's go to the mode now you will not be able to change the frequency from this up down buttons but you can make it by this potentiometer so let's uh, start okay our motor is running okay motor is running uh, the frequency will not will uh, get changed from uh, this up down buttons but from this potentiometer you can see that can change you can see the variation in this disease so we settled up the word first parameter the master frequency will be okay so the master frequency right now is a digital keypad potentiometer we can use AVI ACI and RS485 RG45 communication port that is this one okay so uh, I will use AVI after not right now Okay. Uh, let's see the second parameter. How if uh, I would like to make it the second source of frequency command, please. Uh, we can set up this also. So uh, next step, we will set up this source of operation command. First operation command. That is a digital keypad. External terminals. That external terminals are these okay these are the external terminals so if you want to operate the VFT motor through the keypad or external terminals or the 485 we can do it using this 2.01 parameter so let's see how to do it so the first of all we will do the external terminal keypad 2.01 parameter enter the one digit so first stop it we can do the same stuff uh, you can see the into the parameter this sparking sign is over here that indicate we can change this parameter even if the motor and VFD is running okay so we can do it but uh, then after uh, so you can see uh, parameter enter 2.1 enter and into that we would like to do the external terminal so we settle the parameter we can set it so what it says using the external terminal this keypad will get stop will not work but this only stop button will work external terminals keep it stop reset to enable okay so using this we can stop the motor but we will not be able to start the motor okay because of we settle the parameter now the remaining is external terminal connections let's see that <coughs> 